So last time we talked about the fact that it is not an easy thing to handle God's denials. It's difficult. You know, Paul prayed for a thorn in the flesh to be removed. And God said, my grace is sufficient for you. And the Kruman and did not give him the answer he prayed for. But the answer he needed, he received it. Praise God. We have seen how the Holy Spirit has been dealing with Paul in so many different ways. So, accepting God's denials are not easy. They're difficult. We also talked a little bit about the mystery of prayer. Prathanayude chila marmiga vishengal namakarila. There are still things about prayer we do not know. We have no idea. See, it's that mysterious nature makes prayer sometimes complicated. Because we don't know the workings of God. We don't know how prayer works. We also looked at some of the biblical examples of unanswered prayers. Or sometimes we are confused. Why? One is delivered, the other person is not delivered. Why Peter is delivered while James is killed. Right? We simply don't know. Why one servant of God does so well while the other servant of God going through a difficult time. Those are questions we don't have answers for. But we have seen how some men in the Bible responded to some of these things. We saw how David, he prayed for something God did not give it to him. And his child died. But says he gets up, washes himself, go to the house of the Lord and pray and worship him. We saw how Job responded to the calamity that he went through. So these are all godly people dealing with things differently. And we're going to look at another aspect. Or I mentioned it last time. See, for us to understand God's denials, it demands that we redefine our concept about prayer. Because we don't know everything about prayer. That's the truth. We just simply don't know. See, with our little minds, with finite minds of ours, we will not be able to understand everything. You don't even know what is behind this, this building. We, we don't exactly know how the picture looks like. There's so many things we simply do not know. Our mind is not equipped to understand all those things. So the power of prayer is a mystery. We cannot really explain it also. See, prayer ultimately, if you really look at it, it is not getting the results. Okay? I'm going to practice in the Vishayat and the Marubadi in the Dine Kartil, Athigam. It's a relationship, it's more important. Prayer is more about relationship. Amen. Praise God. So there are times God gives you what you ask. If, he, if God doesn't give you what you ask for, our relationship is over? No. It has to do with our relationship. Praise God. 
because we don't know everything. You know, there are so many things, there are so many hidden secrets behind God's denials. But one thing, even when he denies our request, we can still trust him. Amen. Namada Prathanagal Kamarudi or Adri Kimborum are the Yvate Asra can Vishusikan Garium. Amen. God is worthy of our trust. You know, uh, I said you must redefine our concept of prayer. And I gave you a little example last time. Sometimes we think God is like a cosmic Santa Claus. But children probably understand a lot better. Deep pocket Santa Claus. We think you ask for something, God reaches his hand, Santa Claus puts his hand and give it to you. Sometimes we think, oh, it's like it's like online shopping. God, I need this. I need this. My son needs this. Daughter needs this. My mother-in-law needs this. We ask for so many different things. And we think of God as a, a cosmic Santa Claus. If that is so, change that concept about prayer. Praise God. Amen. But are you upset? Sure. Am I upset? Sure, I'm upset. But I need to get over it. Praise God. See, uh, this morning we were reading, mornings we read the book of Job. You should, you should listen to the frustration that Job is actually mentioning. Just think of this as a conversation between him and God. Okay, conversation between him and his friends. Look at, look at the frustration he is experiencing. He is cursing the day he was born. I wish that day had never been here. So many things. Because he couldn't handle it. It was too much. Can you put yourself into his shoes? And see everything is you lost in one single day. Now your body is itching. Whatever that may be, whatever the condition may be. But it's itching all the time. All over his body. But he continues to hold on to his integrity. But he's expressing his pain to God. Amen. See, he had the audacity to question anybody. Who was challenging him about his integrity. And he is expressing his deep anguish in the midst of, of incredible pain and suffering he went through. But at the same time, he was feeling very sad. See, what do you guys know? You don't have to have any kind of artificial dealings with God. You are welcome to cry in the presence of God. You know? That's how. I've heard people telling, um, when people lose their loved ones, I heard people that I've heard in my own ears, don't cry, be brave. Don't be crying. Be brave. We are children of God. And then I don't know why this man said, can I not cry when something happens to me? I should cry. There's nothing wrong in crying. My God is not upset when I cry. But he tells me, he gives me a guidelines. You're not to cry like the, you're not to mourn like rest of the matula jadi gula, dukhi kinda wale nigla. Yeah. There should be a hope that far outweighs the pain you are experiencing. 
നീ അനുഭവിക്കുന്ന വേദനയെ വെല്ലുന്ന ഭയങ്കര പ്രത്യാശ തന്റെ അകത്തുണ്ടായിരിക്കണേ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ നാച്ചുറലി ബ്രിങ് ഡൗൺ ദ പെയിൻ ദറ്റ് യു ആർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസിങ് ദിസ് എ മിക്സ്ചർ ഓഫ് ഹോപ്പ് ആൻഡ് പെയിൻ ദ പെയിൻ ഓഫ് സെപ്പറേഷൻ ബ ദ ജോയ് ഓഫ് ഹോപ്പ് പ്ലീസ് ഗോഡ് യു കെൻ ടോക്ക് ടു ഗോഡ് ടോക്ക് ടു ഹിം ഇസ് എ ഗോഡ് യു നോട്ട് ലിസണിങ് ടു മീ ഐ നോ ഐ ഹേർഡ് പ്രയേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ who prays that way chala aalu parnu njan ni korchu sa samsarikkunnilla to arudu oraya devathu oraya ni korchu sa ki njan samsarikkunnilla etra naal ingodu povu nokkade pashe avade nammalu we don't talk that way we nalla beautiful language thavi raavile samethana isthotram you know inna enikku bhayangara prayasam thonunnunde engilum prayasapadunnilla just be open talk to him share your heart amen tell him your frustration he's not going to be frustrated with you it's all about a relationship there bandhathinte vishayam amen see the book of hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 avanu ullu vaikkunnundu അതായത് നിങ്ങളുടെ നടപ്പ് ദ്രവ്യാഗ്രഹം ഇല്ലാതായിരിക്കട്ടെ ഉള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ തന്നെ ഒരു നാളും കൈവിടുകയില്ല ഉപേക്ഷിക്കുകയില്ല ഈ തോളസ് ഈ വൻ നെവർ ലീവ് എസ് നോ ഫോർ സേക്ക് എസ് റിഗാർഡ്ലെസ് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് നമ്മൾ ഇച്ചാ കംപ്ലൈൻറ്റ് ചെയ്താലോ യു ഷോഡ് യുവർ ഫ്രസ്ട്രേഷൻ യുവർ പെയിൻ യുവർ ആൻസൈറ്റി ടു ഗോഡ് ഹി ഈസ് വില്ലിങ് ടു ലെസൺ ടു അസ് ഏമാൻ such an awesome god amen that's what we are singing this morning right nammada dey etra vaigira deyo amen he knows us praise god he knows my frame avan ende prakruthi he knows your frame amen every child you're sitting here he knows your frame praise god he knows some of you going to cry He knows some of you are going to be emotional. He knows some of you are going to shut down. He knows your frame and he will stand there as a child. I am here. Be still and know that I am your God. Such an awesome God. Praise God. Praise God. Psalms. is actually you read the book of psalms is filled with such anguish and pain sankirtanam motta vaajo ikkuvo sometimes he is asking god to destroy his enemies thaladuk vaachiyam namukku ang prayasam thonu there are some people who says those psalms should be removed from the bible asking god to do vengeance on the enemies but you don't know his you know what on what is the background of that psalm god you didn't act you should act now it's the same psalm that it's the same psalms that you would see psalm says one thing i desire that's what i seek after otta kari enik abheshi otta kari agrahi i want to spend time with you as the deer pants for the streams of water man nir todino i come she gido ali and the apnava ninnod cheruvan this is all about relationship there are times you are angry there are times you are upset there are times you are anxious it's okay your god knows your frame ninde deyo ninne arigunnundu we also need to understand we live in a, a time where lot of people talk about faith they said faith can achieve anything you heard that right unfortunately your pastor is not such a preacher okay any you ningala ingane ingane mulla nirthanam arithilla i preach his word okay if something didn't happen you prayed for something didn't happen and and i'm not going to come back and say, don't worry come back again faith in the gorney vayada naala faith koodum men ready avum doesn't work that way so long as you have faith man you can achieve anything i i still remember many years ago when we lived in dallas 
I was translating for a preacher. He is no longer on the face of the earth. I was translating for him. And he said, I will not die until I'm 85 years of age. I translated I said, he will not die until he is 85. He said, no, I will not die. <laughs> I said, okay, I will not die. But that poor man of God died a very premature death. I think he probably was in his 40s. I don't know if he hit 50. These things happen. So, listen to what I say. God is not bound by our prayers. And our faithful prayers can't supersede God's sovereignty. I'll read more time for you. God is not bound by our prayers. And our faithful prayers can't supersede God's sovereignty. Devate ninda prathana gonda benthi kya mani vidarikinda. Vishwa samdaranya namada prathana Sovereignty. Amen. Don't buy into that lie. When people say, man, you have faith, you can make him do anything for you. It's not true. That's not true. God is sovereign. God is sovereign. Praise God, because he knows what you need. Praise God. Because you said you shoot a prayer, a faithful prayer, and expect God to be bound by that and do it. We also may quote a verse from the scripture. God, you, you give grant the good desires of your children. And the Attach a scripture to that, send it across. But I want to tell you something. Shine the good of the Lord, God, you are sovereign. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what I wish to happen in my life. But God, you are sovereign. Praise God. Ultimately, you decide what needs to happen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Isaiah, <clears throat> Chapter 46. I'm going to read a couple of verses from verse starting with verse 9 onwards. You can look at your own Bibles. Remember the things I have done in the past. For I alone am God. I am God. And there is none like me. Only I can tell you the future before it even happens. Everything I plan will come to pass. For I do whatever I wish. I will call a sweet bird of prey from the east. A leader from the distant lands to come and do my bidding. I have said what I would do and I will do it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Pandula Pandula Puru adding the Ortu will win. Nyan and Ladavur Deumilla, Nyan the Ne Deum, Yenapole Matu Urtunimilla, Aram Betical Tane Avasanum, Puru Altane Mela, Sambuikan Rodan Prastavikinu, Yen the Aro than the Urtiagum, Nyan and the Talpidivoke Manusticum, Yen the Nyan Parinu, Nan Kirakun, the Ranjan Bachie. It's all about him. God is sovereign. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can say the prayers. God will answer prayers. There are some prayers he may not answer. See, number of the in the denials of Manasarakanamangil, you also need to understand how God works. God works differently. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I can show you so many verses of scripture that says you just declare it by faith, ask in prayer, it shall be done. Yes, there are verses that way also. But there are verses that say that God is sovereign, He will do what He pleases. 
See, God says yes to how many? Ningalaya ka prarthana ki yes varnu lothi prarthana. Yes, yes. How many of you received yes from God? So many of us. You prayed and God said yes. So many prayers, God said yes. So many prayers, He said no. You know, in Romans chapter eight, verse twenty-eight, number one, I can only Lily. No one can say. Everything works together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. Then it's not even work. Then they pray. They even struggle with it. Who do we have it? Everything works together for good for those who love Him, called according to His purpose. Amen. So he, he answers prayers. Yes. Sometimes you think some requests people make. We think it's outrageous. So Peter said, "I want to walk on water." Amalani and the one. I don't think I'll ask God for that. Amalani and the one. That's that's too much to ask. Peter said, "Lord, if that's you, let me walk on water. Come to you." Did God grant that prayer? Yes. Well, he drowned. That's a different thing. That's because he probably changed his focus from the Lord to the waves. Moses asked, "Lord, I want to see your glory." Amen. Exodus thirty-three, number the Ganon, right? And the Lord replies to Moses, "I will indeed do what you have asked." For I look favorably on you, and I know you by name. Praise God! Then the tears on the garment came on the day you thought you look at the audacity. You know, our manishan the tidy on looking at the day you thought you can then the tears. Yeah, now on the God, show me your glory. God tells him, Moses, that's a good request, man. But I tell you something: you will not live after seeing my glory. അത് കണ്ട ചാരു എന്ത് ചെയ്യത്തില്ല സോ ദേ ഫോർ വാട്ട് ഐ ഗോയിൻ ടു ഡു ഐ എം ഗോയിൻ ടു പുച്ച് യു ഇൻ ദ ക്ലഫ് ഓഫ് റോക്ക് ഐ എം ഗോയിൻ ടു കവർ യു ദെൻ ഐ വിൽ പാസ് ബൈ യു ഓൺലി ആഫ്റ്റർ ഐ പാസ് ബൈ യു വിൽ സീ ദ ബിഹൈൻഡ് യു സീ ദ ഗ്ലോറി ജസ്റ്റ് ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഓവർ പാർട്ട് ഈവൻ ദാറ്റ് യു കെ നോട്ട് ടേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് പ്രേസ് കാർഡ് പ്രേസ് കാർഡ് and he passed by and then moses you know who's inside the rock covered by the hand of god he comes out his skin was shining all you can do mohath nokkan endilla just think about it hallelujah when he come to the book of kings solomon has a request i don't think solomon was a smart guy to begin with okay maybe it was just an average joe but he has a request and they don't say he wanted he wanted wisdom to take care of his people okay listen so god replied because you asked for wisdom in governing my people with justice and have not asked for a long life or wealth or the death of your enemies i will give you what you have asked for i will give you the wise and the understanding heart such as no one else has had or even will have and i will also give you what you did not ask for riches and fame fame no other king in all the world will be compared to you for the rest of your life നിന്നെ പോലെ ഞാനിയായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരുത്തൻ ഇനി ഭൂമിയിൽ ഉണ്ടാകാത്ത രീതിയിൽ യു വിൽ ബി സച്ച് എ വൈസ് പേഴ്സൺ നീ ബുദ്ധിമാനായിരിക്കും ദൈവത്തോട് ചോദിച്ചപ്പോൾ ദൈവം കൊടുത്ത Queen of Sheba comes there to hear his wisdom because God gave him that. He was famous all around.
See, people, when Jesus was on this earth, there were a lot of people who came to him for healing. Bible says he healed them all. Praise God. He healed everyone that came to him. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, our faithful request do not supersede God's sovereign rule. So, we ultimately, God is in control. He decides what is right for us. Amen. Hallelujah. See, uh, James tells us in James chapter 1, verse 3. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Amen. Nangal vishwasatinde parishodhana sthirada ulavakunnu enna arinya adu ashesham sandoshavanda count it joy. Count it all joy. All your trials. Even sometimes when God says no to you, please understand it is for your growth. Amen. I said ultimately it has to do with the relationship. In order that you know, so you're going to run away or you're going to get closer? Are you going to find out God what is? What is it hindering God? It has to do with the relationship. See, it's in the seasons of no that we are in a way forced to pursue God more earnestly. Seriously. I'm not you. I'm not going to no but in the reasons, seasons like him. I'm not going to take all the children. Praise God. Yes or no? Yes. We draw closer to him. We ask him. We talk to him. Some people choose to fast. I said, God, I want you to talk to me. See, God's, when God denies, when God's denials are an indication about our lack of faith that we do not truly believe he is. Who says he is? Right? It's an indication that you're not believing God, that he says who he is. Amen. See, Amen. Amen. You have to know him. When the more we know him, the better it is clear to us. Amen. So a lot of these things, sometimes God wants us to know him. Sometimes no has to do with you knowing him more. Or lack of knowing him. God declared who he is. And we have to simply believe it. Amen. Praise God. Okay. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Without faith. Living within us, it would be impossible to please God. For we come to God in faith, knowing that He is real and that He rewards the faith of those who passionately seek Him. I like that translation. Yes, we need faith. They want to You have to believe that God exists. Then, and without faith, without faith living within us, it would be impossible to please God. We come to God in faith, knowing that He is real and that He rewards the faith of those who passionately seek Him. The key is passionately seeking Him. He rewards those who passionately seek Him. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. James spoke about it. Not answering. He gives us something else here. Okay, so Hebrews 11.6 says this. Listen to what James says. We went over this some time ago. And if you ask, you won't receive it. For you are asking with corrupt motives. Seeking only to fulfill your own selfish desires. Ningal yaji kindu angilam. Ningal apogangalil chelavad endadana. Walladi yaji kionda. Onnun levi kindila. Do you see another denial here? No from the Lord. What's the reason? If we ask, you won't receive it. For you are asking with corrupt motives. Seeking only to fulfill your own selfish desires. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Because it's all selfish. The prayer is motivated by self. Selfishness. And God says, no. I'm not going to answer that. Praise God. So I said there are verses that says, you come to God in prayer, in faith. God will answer. Those who passionately seek him will be rewarded. The question this morning is, are we passionately seeking him? Praise God. See, Namaka, again on that topic, we also need to do something. Anytime God says no to you, or we call it the denial, God's denials. Instead of getting upset, you and I should view it spiritually and scripturally. Devatinde e nidagalang loke, yogya maitum, vadanadistanatrim, atniya maitum, namlakana. Amen. Every no that you get from God, every denial that you're experiencing from God, I experience from God. We should look at it scripturally. Okay? Scripturally look at it. Spiritually look at it. Properly look at it. Amen. And you will see God talking to you. See, remember, God's redirection should never be viewed as God's denials. Okay, But that's not a no. Paulus in order that you would have pawned down the Barnature, you would have to Philippi would have bombarded you. You asked him to go to Macedonia. He was directing Paul. So don't call it as a no. It's not denying. God is showing you his path for you, his plan for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at all those people. Different things that you look at when God said no. God was doing something else with their lives. Amen. In Matthew 21 verse 22. You read like this. Everything you pray for with the fullness of faith. You will receive. We will receive. We will receive. Okay. So, Joe, what do you think about that verse? What do you think of that verse? Did you see? It says that everything you pray for with the fullness of faith, you will receive it. What does that mean? What's that? You pray in faith, you will. That's what he said. I'm just repeating so that everybody can hear it. All right? Look like a guarantee. Pardon? Looks like a guarantee. But we need, this is what I said, we need to redefine our concept of prayer. You read it, you get the understanding that anything you pray. So what can, what's the anything we are talking about? What is the anything? Hmm? So it's time to change your car. What is this anything we are talking about? Don't think I'm picking on Joe okay, this morning. What is the anything? What is that anything? 
എന്തായിരിക്കും അത് കെ വി സിംപ്ലി ആസ്ക് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് എ ബ്ലാങ്ക് എ പ്രോമിസ് ടു യു റെയിൻ ചെക്ക് എന്ത് ചോദിച്ചാൽ പറഞ്ഞുണ്ടോ വട്ട് ഇസ് ദറ്റ് മീൻ സോ വട്ട് എവർ എന്തായിരിക്കും അത് സി ജോൺ ദി അപ്പാസൽ ഗീവ്സ് എസ് എ ക്ലൂ say since we have this confidence we can also have great boldness before him but namak endunda so we have this confidence we have boldness before him for if we ask anything agreeable to his will he will hear us and we know that he hears us in whatever we ask we also know that we have obtained request as we ask of him avante ishta prakaram നാം എന്തെങ്കിലും അപേക്ഷിച്ചാൽ അവൻ നമ്മുടെ അപേക്ഷ കേൾക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് അവനോടുള്ള ധൈര്യമാകുന്നു നാം എന്ത് അപേക്ഷിച്ചാലും അവൻ നമ്മുടെ അപേക്ഷ കേൾക്കുന്നു എന്നറിയുന്നുവെങ്കിൽ അവനോട് കഴിച്ച് അപേക്ഷ നമുക്ക് ലഭിച്ചു എന്ന് അറിയുന്നു ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് യു ആസ്ക് എനിതിങ് ഇവിടെ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നു നാം എന്ത് അപേക്ഷിച്ചാലും വട് എവർ യു ആസ്ക് ഐം ജസ്റ്റ് സിംപ്ലി ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റിംഗ് വേർഡ്സ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഹിയർ സ്ട്രേറ്റ് ഫ്രം മലയാളം നാം എന്ത് അപേക്ഷ വട്ട് എവർ യു ആസ്ക് ആൻഡ് when you know that he is going to answer our prayers then you can also be sure you got it the chodiyo thanaka kitti kanju but again we'll have to go to verse 14 verse 15 is nice i like verse 15 pandiyamathu vaakyam enikku bayangara ishtho chodikkunathu levichu kitti kanju nu vesuvu njan bayangara swa ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കും ഭർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന കേട്ടിരിക്കുക എന്തെങ്കിലും നടന്നു ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് സംഡേ ഐ ഫീൽ സോ ടെറിഫൈഡ് ടു പ്രേ ദറ്റ് പ്രേയർ ഐ ടെൽ യു നമ്മൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച് ആമയം പറയുമ്പോൾ നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ വിചാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുക ഇപ്പം പുള്ളിക്ക് ഇപ്പം പെയിൻ ചുഴ കൂടിയതേ ഉള്ളൂ ഇറ്റ്സ് പെയിൻഫുൾ ദീസ് ആർ തിങ്സ് ആർ ബി സ്ട്രഗിൾ വിത്ത് പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ശരിയല്ലോ ഐ സ്ട്രഗിൾ ആസ് എ പാസ്റ്റ് വിത്ത് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് മൈ പ്രേയർസ് നിങ്ങളുടെയൊക്കെ വീട്ടിൽ വന്ന് ചിലപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ തലക്കൈ വെച്ച് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കും ഐ എം ഗ്ലാഡ് അറ്റ് ലീസ്റ്റ് ഐ കെൻ ഡു ദാറ്റ് നോ ഐം ജസ്റ്റ് ഡൂയിങ് മൈ ഫാട്ട് ബിക്കോസ് ഗോഡ് ഈസ് സോഫ്റൻ ഇപ്പം ഞാനിപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങളുടെ തലയിലോട്ട് അങ്ങോട്ട് കൈവച്ച് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് സൗഖ്യം വന്നാൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ പരിപാടി പൊളിയ അവിടെ ഗോഡ് ഇസ് വർക്കിംഗ് സംതിങ് ഇൻ യുവർ ലൈഫ് ഗോഡ് ഹസ് എ പ്ലാൻ ഫോർ യുവർ ലൈഫ് ഗോഡ് ഇസ് പ്രിപ്പയറിംഗ് എൻ അഡ്വെഞ്ചർ ഫോർ യുവർ ലൈഫ് Amen. God is refining you. You may be in the refiner's fire. Praise God. I want to say, I saw that you are teaching me to do this. You are going to be able to do this. Maybe he is still in the refining process. He doesn't want a puny pastor to come. Lay your hands upon your head and pray. I prayed. Amen. Praise God. But verse 14 is interesting. അവന്റെ ഇഷ്ടപ്രകാരം നാം എന്ത് അപേക്ഷിച്ചാലും അവൻ നമ്മുടെ അപേക്ഷ കേൾക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് അതിനുള്ള ധൈര്യമാകുന്നു സിൻസ് വി ഹാവ് ദിസ് കോൺഫിഡൻസ് വി കെൻ ഓൾസോ ഹാവ് ഗ്രേറ്റ് ബോൾനെസ് ബിഫോർ ഹിം ഐ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് പാർട്ട് ഗുഡ് ഫോർ ഇഫ് വി ആസ്ക് എനിതിങ് എഗ്രിയബിൾ ടു ഹിസ് വിൽ ഹി വിൽ ഹിയേഴ്സ് സാലലൂയ സീക്രട്ട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ഹിതത്തിനനുസരിച്ച് ഞാൻ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന വിഷയങ്ങൾക്ക് മറുപടി ഉണ്ട് if i pray anything according to the will of god god will answer the big question remains do i know his will about a matter praise god this is what i lack i'm just telling i lack let's say i i come to pray for somebody even before i pray for you i should know god's will regarding that matter if i know that i'm praying this prayer according to his will then i tell you i get a tremendous confidence because i'm praying according to his will hallelujah angane onnu chidichu okay angane ekka nammal prarthikkanu endum miracle ay sabai nadakkan povane 
Just think about each of you praying for somebody else. And God said, go lay hands upon him and pray. Immediately there's going to be a release of power. Amen. Hallelujah. God is going to answer prayers like that. But knowing his will is the key word. It is relationship. It's spending time with him. It's only through spending time with him that you're going to know his will. Amen. About anything for that matter. Hallelujah. See, whatever that you're talking about, whatever is anything according to God's will. What's the definition of anything? Anything according to his will. Amen. How do you know something is in the will of God? Okay. Let's say you find yourself a young Hindu boy in your college. I'm just simply using an, um, an example here. You met a young guy in your college campus. He's a Hindu. You like this guy. You fell in love with him. You're a Christian. You're born again Christian. You come to the presence of God. Lord, I want you to answer this prayer. I want you to move this mountain. Move this mountain. They are, obstac they are the obstacles. You're praying the prayer. God, you do this. God will never answer that prayer. You must still get married to the other person. That's a different thing. But that's outside of his will. You should know your will in this book. This is one of the ways of knowing the will. Is reading his word. This is his will and testament. You shall not yoke yourself with an unbeliever. Can I hear an amen to that? Young people, can I hear an amen from you? Through your mask, let it come out. Yeah, do not yoke yourself with unbelievers. You're a born again baptized child of God. Don't be dating no girls out there. Has no nothing to do with anything. It's your God or your religion, your spirituality. That is not according to his will. You know, I've been a youth work for so many years. I go to college campuses. These people come and say, oh, pastor, this guy is so good, so nice, so better than most of the nice Pentecostal boys that I know. Of. I said, amen, like that. So what is your request? Pastor, can you say a prayer for me that this will, be, this will be done? I said, no. I don't need to pray. I will not pray. Praise God. In the Lord. Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. It's like witchcraft. It's like idolatry. He was early on angle. You are praying for something that you yourself know is part of greed. Is that prayer according to God's will? Faithful light and prapti or tawe. He'll say big no. Why waste time? You ask anything according to his will. I anything in the world according to his will. They were the Hidam Tirichari one. They were Hidam in the Nepal Tirichari ego. Discern the will of God. Whether it's relationship. Hallelujah. Bible says, I'm talking just a little bit about family also. In between, I have to speak. Bible says, husband is the head of your home. But you never allow him to be the head. You hit his head. Don't be the head. And you pray. Nothing has happened. There's an air with you. Join air with you. In the, in the gracious gift of life. You will not get it. 
You belittle your husband, you hit him, you spit at him, you throw him stuff and say a big prayers. How about the other words also? You, you hit your wife, you belittle her, push her down, you know, boxing on her. And you say the big prayers, that prayer is not according to the will of God. Start living according to the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Listen, this is important. You watching all unnecessary stuff? This is where I get into trouble, right? Yeah. This passes all the time talking this stuff. I must say this, man. I want to see you in kingdom. I want to see you in heaven. Oh, my friend is watching so and so. So what? So and so in our church is doing this. So what? You cannot do it. He said, oh, pastors, kids are doing this. So what? You cannot do it. Praise God. Because you're not doing, living according to the will of God. Live, start living according to the will of God. Then you will know the will of God. You will know the heart of God. You will know the plan of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Children, obey your parents. Is that the will of God? Hey, you listening to me? Are you writing my speech down? I know that. But don't your head, okay? All right. Is obeying your parents part of the will of God? Say yes. That's all, son, you have a little more? Louder. Oh, yes. How about you guys? I know because I made them yesterday chicken, you know, so they all had chicken, so it's strong today. Listen, this is, this is how it is. Amen. It's the will of God. Your parents say something, obey them. Older brother says something, obey them. Older sister say something, don't ask. Whose problem it is that the birth order is different? You were born first, I was born second. Now why should I listen to you? No. Yielding to elders is important. Submitting your pastor is important. It doesn't matter who your pastor is. Submitting important. Submitting your Sunday school teacher. I know you probably don't do that in your school. Listen. Sometimes Sunday school teachers come, tells me that these kids don't respect us anymore. Parents, I want you to in school, they don't respect their teachers. Okay? It's not like India. Grow and ask your parents, did you guys respect your dear? Oh yeah. We did it. We did it. We pee in our pan when we see them. That's our respect to us. But how about us today? We live in today. We don't obey. We don't want to listen to them. We don't want to listen to them. Obeying your parents is his will. Loving your wife is his will. Loving, submitting your husband is his will. Father's leading your home is his will. You're the father, but you don't call your children family for prayer one day. All the time, I will join. Taya, party gamba. Come on, let's pray. Wait, 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 wait. Give me half an hour. Why is that you don't take leadership? It's not the will of God. Husbands, don't fight with me, okay? I'm just preaching. It's the will of God. You're called to be the prophet and the priest of your home. I'm talking about knowing the will of God here. See, prayer has a lot in common with relationship. A lot in common with relationship. See, we're going moving into this whole idea about, you know, prayer and relationship. Okay? Very important that. See, prayer is a relational interaction, not merely a service interaction. I came across that line, very interesting. It is not a, a service in transaction, it is a relational interaction. I was touched by that statement. It's a relationship. Service. It's not you place the order and God gives it. Yeah, there you go. No. 
It's a relational interaction. Faith that we're talking about is not a currency that we pay God in order to receive whatever we ask in prayer. Prathrail yadikinada kittanvendi edu vishayal lebikwal daivatthinu kodukkunnadu nanayam alla vishwasam. It is not a currency we use. Faith is a relational response of trust in what promise God promises to us. Deivam namlodu kaanicha paranja vaddatta thodullah namada pradigaranathila bhagava vishwasam. I trust God what you said in your word. കർത്താവിന്റെ വചനത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞത് ഞാൻ എന്ത് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നു ഞാൻ അത് വിശ്വസിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു ജീസസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളൂ Amen. Ningal ennilum ende vajanam ningalilum vasichal ningal ichikina endengil vachipin adu ningalku the key is abide in me my word abide in you ask anything it'll be done so one of the key things about prayer is abiding in him any vasikya live in me stay in me let my word abide in you ende vadanam ningalil let my word live in you you know this morning i've been talking to adults here about bible for the last 3 4 weeks sunday school we are studying about bible different things today we went through many symbols used in the bible it's got tremendous spiritual meaning to it talk to your parents about it what did pastor angel thought about bible today they'll tell you they didn't tell me they didn't tell you anything you come back and tell me okay we'll have a conversation with them next week listen important you abide in me my words abide in you amen hallelujah 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 my words abide in you you abide in me this prayer is a spiritual is a relational interaction amen it's a relational interaction idur bandhathinte vyavaharam sevanathinte alla this has to do with our relationship i believe we all come to a point where we will know what the will of god is illa the oru prarthane nammal prarthikkathilla i i am praying god i let me come to a point where i will not be praying for certain things oh god i will not be praying for certain things in my life kathavi chela karyangalukku vendi njan prarthikkaadirikkatte because i know even before praying i know it's not his will Let's close our eyes. Makanada kam prathi kam. Hallelujah. Illa kanoda che everybody. Praise God. See, this is the most important moment of a uh, ministry of prayer, ministry of the word. Wadana thundi etto adi pradana vaya samay vaya da. It is you responding to the word of God preached or taught by anybody for that matter. God is looking for relationship. Remember. God created you for a relationship and God redeemed you for advancing his kingdom with every fiber in your body deivam nammale srishtichathu oru velliya vyaktiyavumaya bandhathinu vendiya ennal ee deivam nammale veendeduthathu avante rajyathinte visu these are the only two things i want to tell you something you keep this in your mind God made you for relationship. God redeemed you so that you can advance God's kingdom by his strength for his glory. Hallelujah. Kartavi Lord Jesus 
We submit our souls, Lord, at this words. Lord, oftentimes we treated you like a cosmic Santa Claus. Somebody who gives us, and we use prayer just a way to get things, Lord. But today, Lord, we realize more than getting things done, prayer is about relationship with you, Lord. Many times, Lord, I prayed for things that I knew it was not the will of God. But still I prayed. Help me, Lord, to discern the will of God. And we know that discerning the will of God is by abiding in you. And your word abiding in us. I pray that all of us, our young children, adults, youth, older people. Help us, Lord, to understand that mystery, that truth. Lord, we want to thank you for the material blessings that you blessed us with. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving us the energy to get up and go to work. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for filling our lungs with oxygen Lord. that we don't pay for. Yes. It's all because of your grace and mercy. Amen. As your children have brought their offerings and their tithes from their own hearts, Lord, not with compulsion but joyfully as they brought it. I pray God that you would bless it and you bless the rest. Make a miracle out of whatever is left for them. Supply all their needs. Thank you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen.